The mission of the LARF is to make sure that we're providing the right um, care for our herds. We've got cattle and horses here, um, but that's kind of secondary to the fact that we provide these animals as teaching animals to our students. So our veterinary students get hands-on um, labs and opportunities with our large animals since term one. So they start very, very early in their curriculum actually physically being able to touch our horses and our cows and our donkeys and do physical exams and then as they progress through the curriculum they get to do more involved wet labs which include things like lameness exams and reproductive exams. We have 10 horses, two donkeys, a bull named Sancho, um, 21 of his lovely ladies or 21 cows and then we often have calves then as well. Students get to start off, as I said, in term one with physical exam labs, which is very important because most of our veterinary students come to St. George's with minimal large animal backgrounds. They come from cities generally or the suburbs where they really haven't interacted with horses or cattle before coming to vet school. So it's really important before they go to their clinical year, before they go um, away from Grenada and they're expected to be able to handle these animals and expected to be able to examine them with confidence. It's really important that they get those hands-on opportunities here. We did a live Zoom session with the Large Animal Society. So we looked at a couple of lame horses in the yard and allowed students to ask questions during the lameness exam. We will also be doing physical examinations on our cows and horses in a live Zoom format. Again, letting students answer and ask questions during it. Um, and we also have had a handful of our sixth term students remain on island and we've given them the opportunity to come to the LARF and complete their uh, clinical skills training for the SAMS 528 course. And that way there's been two students at a time, so we're still sticking with the COVID protocols and they've gotten their hands on training. Even with students that have had no large animal experience, um, they generally have a very good time at the LARF. They're usually quite surprised by how much they enjoy these labs with the cattle and with the horses. And that's important because then you get them thinking about potentially getting into either mixed animal practice or large animal practice when they graduate. And in North America in particular, we do actually suffer from a shortage of large animal veterinarians. So if we can um, interest a few more veterinarians into going that route, then we've done a good job.